Now we have all of our regions of interest, or ROIs, saved in the ROI Manager. So we can measure our objects now and analyze our data. There are a whole host of different measurements we can make. So we go to Fiji, and you go to Analyze and Set Measurements, or just type Set Measurements in the search bar. You will see all the different um, measures that we can make and calculate from our ROIs. You can select and deselect exactly what you want to measure from this list. So let's say we want to focus on the mean gray value, right? So our average intensity of our nuclei. So we go back to our ROI manager. And the thing is, if we highlight here, we can highlight individual ROIs, but we don't want to just measure that single ROI. So in order to ensure that we measure everybody, the best thing to do is first click deselect to ensure no one is selected, so we won't just measure one, and then measure, and then we'll measure all the ROIs. So do you notice anything strange about our mean measurements here? Right, we actually ended up measuring our mean values, are, we're measuring really the binary mask, right? What we need to measure is the original image. So let's just toss this data, because that's incorrect, and let's pull up that original image, which should still be open. And we can overlay these ROIs by toggling show all. Then we will deselect, measure, and now we have our actual data set here. I recommend too that you save your ROIs for your each individual images. They can be saved as zip files. So if you just go to more and save as, you can actually see that you can save and open those zip files here. I always recommend saving this zip file when you are batch processing using a script. That way you can go back to any image and have a look at those ROIs. Happy measuring!